Thanks, ugly guy. Fuck all that talking, let's do it. Fuck all that talking, let's do it. Fuck all that talking, let's do it. Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your favorite girl gamer, Pretty Loves Pink. And uh, I've been getting a lot of positive feedback about my how-to videos. And people want to know exactly how to put music on Share Factory. They want a more in-depth tutorial about how to put music on Share Factory. And no, let me just say this. You don't have to only use Share Factory for 2K. Any PlayStation 4 game that you want to post on YouTube, you can use that on Share Factory. A lot of people ask me questions like that. So this is a USB storage device. Um, it has four gigabytes. I actually got this from my school. So yeah, it's nothing fancy. Four gigabytes. Um, this is just one of the different styles that they make. You could get them from like Walgreens for like five bucks, ten bucks. I know a lot of you guys have them for like school and stuff. I actually got this from my school when I was um, going to school for dental assistant. And I use it. Now, this is just basically a visual of what you need. Any type of USB storage device that can plug into your computer and into your PS4. Now we're going to get into how to actually put the music on your PS4. Okay, guys, once you plug in your USB into your computer, you're going to go to your folders. And then you're going to go down and look for a movable disc. And you're going to make a uh this is the wrong no you're gonna make a folder right here that's named share factory you don't necessarily have to spell it exactly like this but it'll help so you make this folder in order to create a new folder all you have to do is go like this new folder and then you name it share factory just like this i already made a folder so i'm just going to delete this folder all right once you make the share factory folder you're going to click on it and make another folder inside of this folder and name it music which I already have one so I don't necessarily have to make another one so I'm going to go ahead and delete that one okay once you click on your music this is where you'll be putting all the instrumental music that you will use on share factory and like I said before make sure you don't use any copyrighted music a way to find out which music is copyrighted and which music is not is make sure you use any instrumentals that are remade or if it's off of a mixtape but always go with remade because you never know because people would like to copyright mixtapes as well. So let's say I wanted to use um, Lil Uzi P's and Q's instrumental. Always look for the remake like this one. Click on it and if you like it then click on it and just copy the URL and then also go to a place where you can download mp3s like this youtube-mp3.org is my favorite one to use so I'm gonna go ahead and copy I'm gonna paste the um, the URL that I use on that one convert the video and download it it only take a couple of seconds I'm gonna basically drag this into the folder that I have my music on it's going to copy to this music and then boom I have an instrumental for my for my video that I'm going to use on share factory so once you're done with this you can eject your USB storage device from your computer and actually enter it into your PS4 just make sure that you have the right folder like all of this stuff is extra like all of these things it doesn't matter I use this for more than just share factory so make sure you make the folder of share factory spell it just like this double click it and make a folder for music Double click it and put your music in that folder or else the share factory won't actually find it for you. Now we're going to move over to the PS4. I'm going to show you exactly how to import it into your PS4 so that you can use it on your videos in share factory. Okay, so the next and final step is to actually insert your USB device into the front ports of your PS4, the same place where you charge your, your controller. Then you're going to go into share factory. And this is where you're going to just put a random clip so that I can show you guys how to actually import it to your PS4. Now there is a limitation of how many songs you can actually import to your PS4, but it doesn't matter. It's taking a long time to load. Okay. New project. Like I said before, you're going to have to pick one of these themes. You don't necessarily have to use it, but you're going to have to pick one to start off with. I don't know why Share Factory is going so slow right now.
Anyways, okay. So you pick a theme, make sure you deselect it so that you don't actually see it in your video. Um, I'm gonna pick the same video from yesterday, a four minute video so that I can show you. You hit select the video, smash square to start the project, continue, you don't have to rename it. And now I'm gonna show you exactly how to import the music. Now I'm gonna smash the, um, the X to add music. And as you can see, these are all the music that I have already imported. Now if I wanna import the new P's and Q's song, I'm gonna go to USB import. It's going to load the tracks that I have on my PS4. I mean, on my uh, USB. As you can see, I had a whole bunch of songs on there. But these are the only ones that showed up because these are the only ones that were in the Share Factory music folder. Now, P's and Q's is right here. Where is it? Right here. And you're going to have to smash square to import the music into your um, Share Factory library. Once I do that. It actually tell you exactly how many uh, millibytes or megabytes you have left. 153.49 megabytes left. This song is only 3.21 megabytes, so I'm pretty good. Once I hit square, it's going to import the music track. There's a little preview right there. So once you do it, you know you want to import the music. You have to hit the X or whatever. And like I said before, if the music is not long enough, make sure you hit the square, the circle button and hit X again. And at the same clip, if you want it to be the same instrumental throughout, um, go ahead and hit um, R1, hit circle, hit L1, scroll back a few to the end of the video. Make sure you hit the square button again to edit the music. Once you do that, square to split the music split the music delete the clip that we don't need and make sure that we fade out um, this clip so that it sounds professional so here it is Exclamation mark Wait. <laughs> oh yeah I forgot to take off the uh, the clip volume like I said yeah if you're in a party bro that audio is definitely going to be there if you don't want to do live commentary make sure you take that out all the time and here it goes music imported into share factory now someone else wanted to know how do you actually put this on YouTube now you see that there's a square over here I mean not a square a triangle over here I'm a low-key don't know my shapes right now because I just woke up but you see the shit uh, the triangle right here for the share button all you gotta do is hit that it's gonna actually render the um render the video once it's rendered it's gonna give you a dialog box if, if you want to share it it's going to give you, I think, like three options or something. It's going to have YouTube on there. All you got to do is hit YouTube. It's going to ask you to sign into your YouTube. Sign into your YouTube and boom, it's going to go ahead and upload. And um, you can check the upload status to YouTube right here in notifications. There's an upload section right here and it'll tell you exactly how long it's going to take to go from your PS4 to YouTube. And then once you go to YouTube, it's going to tell you exactly how long it's going to take to be published. It doesn't take long at all. This is actually the quickest way to put videos up on YouTube from Share Factory. If you use a PC, it takes an hour and a half to upload if you're uploading in great quality, like 1080p, 60 frames per second. If you're only uploading at like 720p, then it's pretty like 30. It's like 30 minutes. But nonetheless, Share Factory is the fastest way to put videos up on YouTube. If you guys have any other questions that you want to know, you want to know exactly how to do something else, make sure you leave it in the comments down below. I have no problem helping you guys. If this is one of your first time watching one of my videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share. And I'm out until my next video. Thank you guys for watching.